<clears throat> Hello everyone, this is Travis Bruno here at Capsule Computers. I am here with Brian Baycock at uh, Anime Magic 2022. He is known for voicing Monokuma, uh, Agumon, and Digimon, and many other roles. Um, so if you would like to get started, um, what got you into being a voice actor? I was uh, doing a lot of theater and some TV and film in L.A., mm -hmm. and uh, I was working at Universal Studios with Mary Elizabeth McGlynn, who's a voice actor and director as well, and she saw me in a play and had me come in, audition for Takato in Digimon, season three, Digimon Tamers, and I booked the gig, not knowing what I was doing, mm -hmm. and literally that job created my entire 30-year uh, career. Yeah, that's nice. Um, <clears throat> you've been in many roles through the years, and uh, you've done touring, uh, stage plays, acting. Uh, is there any role in particular you prefer doing, or like is voice acting something you prefer over the others, or? Got it. That's a good question. I mean, I think voice acting right now, because I've done it for 30 years for so mm -hmm. long, it's very comfortable to me um, to do it. Mm -hmm. um, I still get a little bit of the nerves when I'm auditioning or filming TV or movies. Gotcha. Um, I've done a lot of theater. I'd like to go back to do that again, but it's hard to find time to dedicate to that. Um, but pretty much when I do one for too long, I feel like I want to do the other. So gotcha. I'll just probably keep bouncing from one to the other. Yes. Uh, how different is it to record a voice over compared to like acting in front of the cameras? That's a great question. I mean, w when you're doing a voiceover, obviously all you have is your voice to convey all the emotion. You don't, you can't use physicality, you can't use props, you can't use costumes, etc. So, um, you really have to relate rely on your training um, to be able to convey emotion doing voiceover. Mm -hmm. But then, when you're doing on camera stuff. You can't, you can't <laughs> bounce around like you sometimes do in a recording booth. You know what I mean? You got to keep things small and that whole, you know, like TV acting as opposed to like theater acting. Right. So they're very different. They're very different disciplines. Um, is there any character that you look forward to look as if maybe your favorite role? My favorite role? Well, M Monokuma's awesome mm -hmm. and he's uh, crazy and dangerous and um, hysterical. Um, so I love doing him, and it's funny how I, I recorded that first video game 10 years ago, oh, yes. and it's carried me through here, you know. Um, but I think the most important role to my career has probably been Takato from Digimon because it started my whole career. You know, I wouldn't be here right now were it not for him. Right, he gave you everything. He gave you the biggest part of your jump. Absolutely. Um, <clears throat> when auditioning for a role, and when you get a role, do you look into the series beforehand, or do you try to go in blind? So if it's if it's a video game, odds are we don't even know what we're reading for or auditioning for. Sometimes even after the audition, you right. sign that NDA or whatever. Um, if it's a series and it's season two or season three of a series, then I'll probably go and watch it. But if it's brand new, just being translated from Japan or Korea or whatever, I probably won't look into it. I'll just rely on the director to give me the information at the audition. Right. Um, so Monokuma would probably have been, you, most people would think with his uh, range, he would have been the most difficult character you voiced, but <laughs> right. um, is there anybody else that has made maybe your hardest character to actually handle? Yeah, so you would think Monokuma being so high, but I, I, I'm able to, to get that higher range pretty easily, uh -huh. not for four hours at a time like we did when we were doing the video game, but um, the hardest character I ever did was Sakon and Ukon from Naruto. Mm -hmm. They were terrible. They were just like gravelly, growling, screaming, and uh, the director didn't often know because the animation was so wonky sometimes. They didn't know which character was speaking, so they would have me do all the lines twice and mm -hmm. let the editor deal with it. Um, so yeah, I would, I would get hamburger throat by the end <laughs> of those recording sessions. Uh, so what has been the most rewarding part of being a voice actor for you? I mean, I, the most rewarding part, I get to travel all over the world. I get to go to conventions and see people. And like, this is my second year uh, in a row at Anime Magic, which is oh, yes. awesome. <laughs> and I love Chicago. Um, Giordano's all the way. Um, <laughs> but it's great to come back and, and, and meet the people that are watching the work that I do. You know, right. it's such an isolating job, basically, with just a director, a producer, and a recording booth. Mm -hmm. um, and also, as an actor, it's like it's just nice to know that you can pay your rent, you can pay your bills, and you're doing what you want to do um, to survive. So, so you, they say you love your work. <laughs> exactly, exactly, and I do. Uh, speaking of isolation, with uh, 
everything's just finally getting back started up again with after all the COVID lockdowns. Um, how was it being a voice actor during all those issues? It was interesting. A lot of stuff, a lot of tours I was doing shut down that were you know separate from voiceover. And of course, a lot of shows didn't happen. New shows weren't happening. Um, but I didn't have the whole home set up. Uh, mm-hmm. at my house so I was going into the studio once the uh, the union deemed it acceptable to do so in Los Angeles so I was doing a lot of traveling from San Francisco back to LA to do voiceover work it, it just wasn't tons of work and all the conventions got canceled so right. it's it's picking back up right now thank goodness uh, so if do you have any tips for though anybody who might be looking to try to get dip their toes into being a voice actor uh, learn to type. No. Um, <laughs> learn another skill. Uh, I just think basically it's important to listen and watch and listen to other voices and things that maybe you think you can imitate or emulate. Okay. Um, learn to take no for an answer and figure out another way to get around that the many closing doors. Right. Um, don't drink, don't smoke, get plenty of sleep. Uh, be 20. Um <laughs> But also just like enjoy what you do, you know, enjoy the journey of, of the job because you're never going to arrive at the destination. And mm-hmm. it's a tough job for sure. Um, but there's so many things you can do as a voice actor. It's not just anime. Right. It's audiobooks and it's uh, answering machines and it's TV commercials and radio. There's just a lot of work out there. So yeah. so what so far has been the coolest thing you've maybe seen this weekend at Anime Magic? You know, I, I don't do cosplay. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm terrible. I'm just not crafty. But I always love looking at the cosplayers. They are yes. amazing. They're so cool. And this year, being at the convention center is amazing. It's just it's huge and big and fun and music everywhere and food. Um, but, yeah, the fans and the cosplay, they're just they're pretty fantastic. Right. Uh, before we close up, uh, any favorite anime at the moment or anything you're watching? Favorite anime. I mean, I... Most of the time, because I try to watch everything that I'm in, oh, yes. and and Bleach alone will take up 40 years of my life. <laughs> um, so I just finished watching um, B Stars, which I'm in. I play Dom. Go. I just watched that, and then I just finished watching um, Bungo Stray Dogs One again, oh, okay. which is so funny. I had forgotten all about it, <laughs> um, but I have a huge list of stuff that I need to watch. So oh, yeah. everybody's got a backlog <laughs> for sure. Um, just so to close out, um, where can our viewers uh, find you on social media? So on Twitter and Instagram, I'm at Brian Beacock. And then on TikTok, I am Monokuma Brian B. Right, uh, thank you for your time. I hope you have a great rest of the weekend here at Anime Magic. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you.